Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm going to be flashing back to stock the Acer C710 Chrome OS firmware. And so for those of you who have been following my previous videos, you know that I flashed this with a custom Core Boot BIOS and installed Windows on there and then installed Linux on here. And so now we're going to return everything back to complete factory stock settings. And uh, hopefully you made the backup like in my previous core boot video and so what I have up here is the details and I'm showing that it's uh, running 13.04 uh, but that's not really important you can run 12.04 12.10 or 13.04 it doesn't matter but what does matter is the OS type for this particular video uh, you're gonna need to run 64 bit you could run 32 bit but there's a command that's gonna be a little bit different if you're running 32 bit uh, but uh, for the sake of this video, I'm running 64-bit, and uh, we're going to continue on now that we have this info. So the web page uh, that I have um, following all the instructions on is the uh, johnlewis.ie media wiki page. Link to this will be in the description, of course. I'm just going to use this as sort of uh, the uh, guide and also copying and pasting commands just to make things a little bit quicker and easier. And so uh, what we're going to do is uh, you're going to click on this link here. You're going to right click and you're going to hit save as. And we're going to download flash ROM and then you click on save. And I've already downloaded it, so it's uh, going to replace the already downloaded one I have. Right, so while that's downloading, we're going to look at some specific information or instructions uh, before we can uh, properly install or get Flash ROM to be working. And so when I right clicked and opened up on the new page here, uh, what we're actually going to do is we're going to copy this command here. Right, we're going to open terminal. we're gonna paste this command right press enter then we're going to authenticate hopefully when you installed you created a password you do need to have a password to in order to uh, continue with this then it's gonna ask you uh, do you are you sure you want to continue you press yes and this is gonna download and install some libraries So that process should have taken about a minute, depending on the speed of your internet connection. And so going back to uh, the uh, commands here, here's the 32-bit command if you have 32-bit Linux uh, or Ubuntu. Uh, but I have 64-bit, so I'm going to go ahead and copy all of this. So you right-click copy. Going back to terminal here. Then I'm going to right-click and paste. Right, and then I'll press enter, and uh, you don't get any confirmation or anything like that. It just happens you didn't get any errors or anything, so that's good. Right, now going back, now we're going to go ahead and uh, go back into terminal. We're going to type in this command. We're going to go to our downloads folder, and then we're going to type in chmod plus x flash rom. So I'm going to copy that. Right. So we're going to type in cd space tilde forward slash capital D O W N L O A D S downloads. It has to be a capital D for downloads. So we're in the downloads folder now. And then we're going to go ahead and paste that command we copied. chmod space plus x space flash rom. Right? All right, so after you've done the chmod command, uh, the next step is to acquire your backed up or stock firmware. And so I already have mine on the downloads folder here. I've downloaded it. It's ogbios.bin. Yours could be named whatever else you named it when you made the backup. Right, so that file's in my downloads folder. Now, uh, there are instructions here that tells you how to check to uh, see if your uh, flash ROM is uh, write protected or not. We're going to uh, skip all this. I mean, you could go through all this if you want, uh, but right now I'm going to um, do the uh, write protect uh, jumper and so we're gonna have to leave this running but we're going to uh, get into the bottom of the inside of the Chromebook here and uh, apply the little aluminum foil fix 
All right, so I have it flipped on my on the screen side here, and so I'm going to go ahead and open up the back panel here. I've already unscrewed the screw. Uh, for those of you who watched my previous video and flash your core boot BIOS, you kind of already know how to do this, but I'm just doing this uh, anyways. Uh, so whatever it is that you did to put the little piece of aluminum foil in here, uh, by all means use your method alright so I got the aluminum foil back on there and uh, do be careful with uh, the hard drive when you open this up the hard drive will fall out so put some piece of tape here while you're doing your work and we're gonna go ahead and close this up and the reason why this is kind of tilted at this angle here is that it has to stay open otherwise when you close it things will kind of uh, shut off and you won't be able to get it back on again so that's why the screen isn't fully closed all the way all right so now I'm gonna flip this back over and I have the right protect enabled and we'll continue on all right so now that we have the right protect jumper closed we can go ahead and try this command here in terminal which is uh, sudo dot forward slash flash rom tech tech wp tech disabled right and it should say success here if it says failed the aluminum foil isn't uh, properly seated and so you're gonna have to try to do that again proceed with caution of course and then uh, now we're going to again check the status so we'll copy this go back in the terminal we'll paste it right and uh, right protect is disabled great all right so now we're going to uh, flash our original BIOS and we're going to type in sudo dot forward slash flash rom space tac w right space and then the name of our bios which is og bios dot bin obviously your bios name is going to be different uh, or unless you just happen to also name it og bios uh, but whatever yours is that's what you're going to type in there you're going to press enter cross your fingers speak now forever hold your peace and so this particular process takes usually about a minute it shouldn't take more than a minute all right so that's pretty much it uh, it says verifying flash verified success hopefully you didn't get any errors and so uh, once this is finished you can go ahead and shut this down and restart and you're gonna need your uh, Chrome OS uh, recovery thumb drive uh, I have another video on how to completely wipe out and create um, a recovery disk and so uh, be sure to watch that if you need to watch uh, or need to make one of these. And so uh, now we're going to um, restart this thing. All right, so now I'm going to fire up the Chromebook. And so we're going to come up with the first screen here. And it says OS verification is off. Press space to re-enable. You can do this if you want. Just press space bar, then enter to confirm and then the um, system will reboot and local data will be cleared right so once you uh, go back into OS recovery mode it says Chrome OS is missing or damaged please insert a recovery USB stick and so that's what I'm about to do now plugging in the USB recovery stick and once you plug that in it'll automatically detect it and go into uh, recovery mode and this should take uh, probably about 10 to 15 minutes alright so after about 10 minutes or so the recovery process is complete you can remove the thumb drive and by doing so it will automatically restart and boot up to Chrome OS
and we're finally back to stock Chrome OS. So that's pretty much it for this video, everyone. Hopefully you were successful in flashing back to stock your Acer C710 Chromebook. This particular method I know uh, works for only this Chromebook. I don't know if it works for any of the other Chromebooks. And uh, many of you out there have been asking me to provide a link to download my original BIOS that I used uh, from this particular Chromebook. And I'll provide a link to it, but I can't say that it's going to work for yours. You know, you're going to have to try that completely at your own risk. I know that this particular model is the Parrot Rough AC6172 model. And so if you have the same one, hopefully uh, it should be um, right for you. I know that there's another 16 gig uh, SSD model out there. This is the 320 gig uh, regular spinning hard drive model. Uh, but there's other models out there, even though it says it's the Acer C710 Chromebook. Um, so hopefully uh, my original BIOS might work out for you. Um, again, you're going to have to try that completely at your own risk. All right. And so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll catch you guys later.